Oh, hey, gents, welcome back to Tactical Rifleman. I'm here with an old buddy of mine named EP. Can I say that? Mm -hmm. All right. Um, we, we started chatting on the phone a little while ago, and um, actually, I guess it's been a couple of months now, and we started talking about electronic footprints and how we're big on physical security, but we're not big on uh, electronic security. So uh, what we're gonna do is we are gonna do a series of videos. Hey, coming right there. Oh, hey guys, we're back again with EP. We are gonna be talking about purchasing strategies, all right? Um, remember that's a lot of your electronic uh, trail can mm -hmm. be, they, they can follow purchases, they really follow can. Follow the money. All right, uh, before we get into that, we're gonna get into it deep. This is gonna be a quick one, but I wanna uh, give a shout out to our sponsors. I can't give you guys these good free videos without them. All right, EP, purchasing strategies. Now, I buy crap all the time on my phone. I buy crap all the time off my laptop. I go in the stores and I buy crap. I buy stuff with credit cards, debit cards, cash. I've got no idea if I'm doing this right or wrong. Give me yeah. your thoughts. So Obviously, I'm wrong because you're here <laughs> saying, Carl, you're, Carl, you need you're, help. Um, I do. I do. Uh, no, I mean, it's, you know, uh, it, so with anything, um, buying is where the most effort is put forth uh, to find out from, from data aggregators and build a profile of you. Okay. Um, as far as like the advertising pieces go, again, those targeted ads to get you to buy more things. Yeah, and they're, all that. they're collecting all this they're data collecting with all good this, intent. Because it's all marketing, yeah, right? They want to market. market better. That's right. why they're collecting the data. But again, that's a byproduct. It can be used against you. Yeah. Um, so... There's a lot of effort that's put into it on the on the financial side. Um, you definitely always have different payment means available to me. I carry multiple just in case, uh, just to have. But it is something again that you know I I I don't like them knowing what I buy. I don't like them aggregating yeah. all this together. Mm -hmm. uh, so you know I I approach this in a, in a multi-tiered uh, um, approach. I guess is what I'm saying. Okay. Um, so um, like always, uh, cash is king. Uh, cash is going to be your best way to buy anything if you want to buy it anonymously, right? I mean, cash. cash. The only thing that's going to be there uh, at the end of the day, it leaves no digital trail. Um, I mean, it, it, it's other than the surveillance video of you pulling out of the ATM, and, it, you know, that's that's really it. So if you can use cash, use cash. Yeah. I always carry cash on me. Um, nowadays, most people don't, you know, so it's weird. So right, I'm right. big on cash, brother. <laughs> right, cash. and, you know, I am as well, and I always walk around with, you know, a bunch of cash in my pocket, and people are like, oh, God, freaking drug dealer? <laughs> Where did you get all that cash from? But... Because uh, everybody else is paying with card or their yeah. phone or all that yeah. other stuff. Uh, but I like using cash. So if you can, use the cash. Um, second thing, prepaid cards. Um, now, I, gotta, uh, I will say this. With your prepaid cards, you have to be careful. If they're reloadable, um, then it, it, it comes with you. You have to pour, uh, give some kind of PII in order to, to put money on it uh, okay. and reload it. So you have to put in you know, d you know, your social or something along those lines. You have to register it online and all that stuff. So... Prepaid cards, are, but if they're non-reloadable, they're they're pretty much the same as cash. What you've got is the video of you going in and buying the prepaid card and leaving with it, right? Especially okay. if you use cash to buy the card, right? Okay. So don't buy a prepaid card with your debit card and thinking that okay, now those two are now linked. But if yeah. you use cash and buy a prepaid card, it's good for whenever people don't accept cash or if you're at the, like the gas station or whatever else, you can just use that instead. Okay. Vice, uh, vice trying to go in and pay the lady cash and she asks all that stuff. So um, where you can use them, use them. Uh, the third thing is a, is a, is a service that I'll go over. It's called privacy.com. Um, actually, I was reading a, a, uh, some blog sites and I, gone, I stumbled on this guy um, and uh, he has a privacy, OSINT and privacy um, uh, show that he does on podcasts. And I was reading, or I was listening to it, and 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 uh, reading some of the posts about it, and that, so he turned me on to it. It's pretty cool. It's a free service, and it basically it allows you to possess like unlimited unique debit cards that will get assigned to whatever vendor uh, first you charge that card to. Okay. So for instance, for Amazon, right? Like everybody buys stuff everybody, off Amazon. I mean, you've got to, stuff you know, like at this at this at this day and age, everybody's going to be buying stuff off of Amazon. Um, so one way that you can kind of you're not because you're not really going to protect yourself completely. Uh, especially from Amazon, but one way you can kind of put some, break that linkage in there is to use something like privacy.com, 
Um, because with that, you can payments, they, they go to any name, any billing address, whatever the hell you want, you know, okay. you can assign to that. So it doesn't, it's not under your true name. And the actual bank itself is going to, you know, they're going to see that you paid privacy.com. Um, but that's... The and, bank's not going to see that you bought Right, that they Amazon. bought Amazon, I bought this or whatever. It's a charge to, and they, they have different, they have different things that you can select, like h and hardware. It'll just, your yeah, bank yeah. statement will just say h okay. and hardware, X dollars. Okay. Or the other one is uh, NSA gift shop. X dollars, right? It'll okay. it'll say it on your bank account statements. Um, the vendor will see that it came from privacy.com, yeah, yeah. but you you put some linkage in there. Uh, so it's a pretty neat service, uh, pretty cool. Um, and then lastly, uh, you can get uh, credit cards that are under an alias name. Now it's your real credit card. But it's your real. So the okay. the, the thing I want to make sure people understand is you know because people asked me that before, like, well, I you know I can you can get an alias credit card. True, but that's still got that same credit card same number, number that is <clears throat> in your in your real name, you know your true name, true affiliation. So um, you can do it. Um, like I said, I gave an example of okay, if you just maybe you're you're checking into a hotel, and you do uh, because of the Hilton breach, you know, like I'm always real hesitant, but I still want my points, you know, and I still yeah. want to be that the diamond member under you know Marriott and all that <laughs> kind of stuff. You know, like, I want yeah. to keep that, right? I hear, I hear, uh, so, I hear. so, but what you, one way that you can do in, to pay for your hotel room and stuff like that, you can get it underneath an alias name. You can have that account set up as under an alias name with an alias email and all that kind of stuff. But again, you're not really protected from your bank, but I mean, you don't care. Yeah. But you're just protecting yourself from them losing your data like Hilton did like a couple, you know, a year ago, maybe yeah. two years ago, whenever it was. Yeah. Um, so it's just a way. But just understand if you, you know, not all credit card companies do it. I think City does it. Uh, I'm trying to remember some other ones. They they've kind of changed a little bit, but essentially, you go into your credit card uh, company, you call them, say, "Hey, I want to get an uh, extra credit card for my son or whatever. His name is this." They'll put that on there, and they don't care because again, you're going to be liable for those charges. Yeah, and it's regardless. still it's it's your number, it's your account. It's your account, so they'll see it. But okay. the the person in the that when you're checking in, you know, they don't they don't care about the you know they're not going to be able to have that data. And when it's breached and it goes out, they might have your credit card number, but you know, you know, but that name will be what's what gets out there. So it's just a, it's just another layer of of kind of breaking the linkage between you and that actual purchase itself. Cash, Definitely. but if you can do cash, I mean, cash is is the is the way to go. Um, and so, I'll talk a little bit about the uh, the way that I use the because I'll go back to the prepaid cards because again, not not all not you can't always use cash all the time. Like yeah, some places don't true. even take cash yep. anymore. Um, especially like during the pandemic, people were super like, oh, you know, I don't want to touch that. You yeah, touched exactly. it, type stuff. So, you know, a lot, but so having debit cards and how you use them, um, as far as like these, these prepaids, uh, I got three, you know, um, so I got one, this is a travel card. So like whenever I'm traveling, um, in a city that I'm doing some kind of training for somebody in or whatever mm -hmm. else, I'll use that card, you know, so, if, uh, say I'm in Boston doing some training, I have a card that I'll only use during that training, that trip, or a set of cards, depending on how much I'm gonna need, um, that I'll purchase somewhere else with cash, and then I'm using it up there, and then that's the only place I'm gonna use it at. I'm not gonna use it near my house. Um, my home card, I'll have one for the house that I'll buy usually when I'm traveling. So when I'm in Boston and I'm getting ready to come back home, I'll buy a couple prepaid cards from that area with cash, and then I can, I'll bring them back home, mm. and then I use those. If I can't use cash, then I can use those cards. Okay. You see what I'm saying? Uh, and then I always have one in reserve just in case, you know, you never know what's going to happen. <laughs> so I always have something. Uh, and then, you know, I keep it, I don't use it. Uh, it's like using, you know, break, break glass case of war type thing. And then if I don't use it and it's getting ready to expire, cause sometimes you have to be careful cause they will expire, especially if you don't use them for six and months. And then you, you've just lost, and you've lost that cash, that right? Money. So if I don't use it, I'm coming up on that expiration part. I'll go ahead and rotate that to either my travel or my how, home card. How much money do you put on like this reserve card? What do you think? I have 500. 500 just, bucks. Just, just to have it. Okay. You know, just 500 bucks. It usually can get you generally what you're going to need. You know, if I have to buy something more than $500 and I can't use cash, then, you know, it's kind of a weird situation I would assume anyway. Yep. But, uh, okay. So I keep 500 bucks on that reserve card. Um, I usually keep the same, you know, I'll buy the, I'll buy each of those cards with about a $500 balance on them okay. just to have them on me, you know, and then recharges or not recharge, but throw away, shred all that stuff. Whenever you're done with it, don't just throw it in the garbage. 
because that that card number and all that you, you can you don't want that getting out. So use that just like you would with the, with your bank statement. You know, shred it, burn it, whatever you want to do. Okay. Um, but cut it up. Uh, don't just discard it in the trash and think, oh, I'm, no, no. Go ahead and destroy that completely. Um, so that's 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 kind of my those are my strategies on how I buy things in order okay. to keep it from being linked to myself. Because again. It's not that I'm trying to hide anything. I don't care. I just don't want to build that consumer profile and let that be out to the general public to yeah. know. Um, not especially, a fan of it. Especially when traveling, you don't want uh, you don't want that that electronic paper trail. No, you don't. And at the same time, like uh, you know, when we're traveling overseas, you know, you got credit card skimmers. You've got all you've got all yeah. kinds of things, and I don't want my bank account or my debit card or credit card or whatever else. That's the big thing. Taken. You know, um, I've got people that pay for courses six months out, mm -hmm. nine months out. And uh, yeah, if that account was to be wiped out while I'm, you know, out parachuting in Florida or something, I'd, uh, that would, it'd be, I'd be in a hurt locker for sure. So yeah. no, good stuff, good tips. Yep. Anything else on purchases? Um, no, no, I think that's it. Um, like I said, it's, it's probably where the most emphasis is put on figuring out who you are and what you buy and, and all your all your tendencies. That is where those third party data aggregators really focus. Mm -hmm. And again, that's why I say you know it, it's going to take a multiple, you know, multi tiered approach to it. Um, but it but it is important. Um, you know, so just make sure you you have a strategy, utilize it, and uh, yeah. Awesome. All right, guys. Uh, purchasing strategies ep thank you brother no problem uh, guys this uh this is one of many videos in this series he's been doing on how to be invisible electronically to protect yourself your family and uh, you can find all the other videos in our video archive along with i think we've got 400 videos now Jesus. wow ain't that crazy that is crazy all right so um yeah check it out there we've got more coming in the future and uh you guys know the deal you got comments questions then leave them below i read all your comments i do I may not answer all of them but i do read them all all right that's all we got this week y'all take care and shoot straight if you like this video make sure to like comment and subscribe also, make sure you follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter so you don't miss out on anything.